Delane and other activists hold a news conference at the foot of the John Lewis mural off Auburn Avenue to demand the election and not the selection of the late congressman's successor. Monday, the party's executive committee chose Chairwoman Nikema Williams over 130 other applicants to be the Democratic nominee on the November ballot. Under state law, a political party has just one business day after a candidate's death to tell the Secretary of State that they intend to replace him. But former Democratic Senate candidate Maya Dillard-Smith argues that was not the deadline to name a candidate. We believe that the process that was utilized was not fair, transparent, or equitable. Under state law, all the Democrats had to do on Monday of this week was simply notify the Secretary of State of its intent to name a replacement nominee. In a statement, Democratic Party spokeswoman Maggie Chambers says no one in the party wanted to fill the seat that quickly. But after receiving advice from our counsel who conferred with the Secretary of State's office, it was clear that the best course of action to ensure a Democratic nominee was on the ballot for November was to name the nominee at the same time that DPG verified we would be filling the vacancy on the ballot. During policies and rules of the party. We are taking issue with the rules of the party. The group says whoever wins in November should immediately resign from the position so that voters can participate in a special... Can't have everything go away. So you whine about it. Back down. And now Oregon's top prosecutor says 18 people have been arrested this week on federal charges while protesting the presence of those federal agents. The White House press secretary addressed the issue today. We've seen lawlessness, anarchy, and destruction that threatens peace in our streets and the safety of our fellow American citizens and the safety of our brave law enforcement officers. These are not the actions of so-called peaceful protesters, and the Trump administration will not stand by and allow anarchy in our streets. Law and order will prevail. The Portland mayor has repeatedly called on federal agents to leave the city, accusing them of escalating the situation. And in New York, police are looking for two men who attacked an elderly woman and tried to set her on fire. Authorities released this surveillance video of the two men. The attack happened back on July 14th. Investigators say these men walked up to the 89-year-old woman. One of them slapped her in the face, despicable. When she tried to get away, the other man used a match or lighter to light her shirt on fire. Just terrible. An update to a story we have been following out of Florida. Community can't have everything go away. So you whine about it.